Welcome to an Exosploit tutorial. Please help me by commenting and rating this video. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how we can take a standard AVI or MPEG file and burn it onto a DVD so that it will be compatible to play in most standard DVD players. This will also work for CDs as well as DVDs. So the two programs we're going to need today are DVD. This is uh, developed for Linux, but someone kindly put together a package that will install on at least Windows XP. I'm not sure about Vista. The link will be in the description. Also, there will be a link in the description for IMG Burn, Image Burn, which we will also be using today. You can open up DVD, and you will have two options. One is the video DVD, the other is the video CD. These will both be playable in standard DVD players. The video CD is for burning a movie or a video onto a CD, and this must be under 80 minutes long. If you're using a standard DVD, you can just select video DVD. So you can drag in your movie into the files box and by default this bar here will show you how much of your disk you're going to use up. Now let's say your disk space usage here was over 100% which would mean it would not fit onto your standard DVD. Which you can also select here if this is a standard 4.7 gigabyte DVD. Uh, you can also select CD spaces here or non-standard DVDs, but this is the standard DVD size. If you're unsure how much space is on your DVD, it'll say on the top of it or on your packaging. So if this was over 100%, you can ad adjust disk usage. This will increase your video and audio bitrate to 99% so that you'll have the best quality available for you. So I recommend you click that. Alright, next thing you can do is create a title. So select Title 1, go Properties, give it a name, click OK. And now for the Menu screen, go Menu Options. You can just have the standard background image, click OK, whatever. You can customize colors and stuff and preview right here. Alright, and finally, select disk structure. You could use any of these settings for this method that I'm using but I'm going to have you select disk structure and finally we can click forward. Select where you want to save your file. I'm going to save this in my E partition. You can give your folder a name. Click OK. And now you wait for this to be completed. And this can take anywhere from 5 minutes to 2 hours depending on your processor speed and length of your video, etc. And once DVD is done, you'll get a little notice here saying that it's done and you can click OK. So once you're done saving your video, your file will be wherever you saved it. Mine happens to be my, lo my local disk E. And here it is. You're going to notice if you saved it by DVD structure, you'll have an audio folder which will be empty and the video folder which will contain all the information. So make sure you have this here. And now we can open up Image Burn. So if you had saved it as DVD structure, you're going to click this button here. If you had saved it as ISO, you're going to want to click this button here. And if you saved it as MPEG, you're probably going to want to click this button here. But since we had uh, click selected DVD structure in DVD, when we uh, converted our video, we're going to click this. At this point, we can put a blank DVD into your optical drive. Alright, so once you have your DVD in your drive, you can switch to the device output. And now it's going to load your DVD. Once you have that in there, you'll notice it's selecting your DVD drive. If not, you might have to select your DVD drive from the drop down menu. 
but I only have one, so that's fine. Now we can select our source, which you can actually just drag into the box. So I'm going to drag both these folders in. And once they're in there, we're going to recalculate. That's going to take into account everything. And finally, we select build, which will begin the burning process. You can give this a name if you want. Whatever uh, label you want to show up when you put your DVD in your DVD drive, if it has that option. But you can just leave that blank. Alright. Now it will begin the burning process. This can take anywhere from two minutes to half an hour, all depending on your your uh, read and write speed on your optical drive, the size of your video, etc. And once your disk is done burning, you'll have a little message here notifying you that the job was done successfully. So now you can simply close the log and close image burn. Now you can eject your DVD and you're pretty much done. This should be playable on pretty much any standard DVD player whether you've used CDs or not. If you've enjoyed this tutorial please comment and rate and if you want to see more tutorials in the future please subscribe to my videos. Thank you for watching. Links and additional information will be located in the video description.